is Lakshmi. Today we are going to see about a CTE. What is CTE? CTE is a, it is a temporary name or result that derives from a query and defined within the execution scope of a single select, insert, update or delete statement. For this CTE common table expression, I am going to use the two tables that is employee details table employee details table and department table okay for this uh, first select pass an employee details and then select pass from department okay now now for a cte common table expression the first keyword should be the width width and then the name of the CTE should be given. The first one is I am going to give this employees employee count as a name of the CTE. Okay, for this employee count, uh, what I am going to do is I am going to give the the column names for this uh, CTE that is department department id comma total count okay now i'm going to fix as and then it is going to be as and then this select statement should be written here that is select dutt id comma counts of staff as total employee some employee details some employee details and and then I'm going to group by department ID Okay, this is what I have written a select statement. And next, the this CTE uh, it is used in the uh, like it was a scope of this uh, CTE is uh, below the next statement only the scope of the CTE is so that we have to use like. We have to use this CTE here, immediate select, insert or delete the statement, whatever it is, we have to use it immediately after that only. See, for that, uh, select the DUPT underscore name, comma, total count, total count, some employee details from, sorry, from department. And I'm going to inner I go I'm going to inner join this with employee count employee count on department on department dot dupt ID equal to employee count dot department ID. So this is uh, how I am going to this and I am going to do order by total count. Okay, this is uh, how I am going to use this one. Uh, like uh, this is a uh, like uh, this is a CTE. This CTE it is used the immediate uh, immediate select statement only. We have to use it. Otherwise, the scope of that particular CTE will not be eat there. And for this, see for you, let me explain for this if I enter this. See, I am going to get uh, like a department names and how many total count the number of people are there in that particular. Uh, particular department how many people are there in this employee details table now here I can get it like I have uh, I'm used that CTE in this join and then I have retrieved the data 
and this is how the CPU is used and the next thing is if if I doesn't specify this uh, uh, what uh, if if it doesn't specify the column names then we have to use like uh, what is the co like column names that is used in uh, here uh, in this uh, table only so here I have used uh, select statement department ID employee form the same thing I'm going to use here I haven't specified here so here I'm going to use department ID only and I'm going to order by this with uh, total employees this total count is also not there why because uh, I haven't is declared that one so I am using the was the same names that is in this table only see now if I says if the same output only I am going to get like total employees like we if it doesn't specify here what is the what is the column names then we have to use only these column names only that is uh, that is going to to give the data okay this this is the another thing and the next thing is if it doesn't use this uh, particular CPU immediately then what happens we will see we will check this the same CPU And if I use then the next statement as select hello and then I will use this select statement that is going to which I am using this particular CPU then what have we what will happen we will see if I try to execute this one I will get an er error right see common table expression is defined but not used but what is that it does it this immediate statement in select statement we are not using this employee count up CPU so it is saying that this uh, common table expression is defined that is here the definition of the CPU is given but it is not used here I have yeah, written this CPU in the second select statement but it is not is it is not used here this is how this in uh, the scope of the CPU will be only the next select statement only uh, like uh, next select or insert or update or delete statement whatever in that statement we can we use this immediate select statement only okay and this is uh, uh, one thing and the next thing is multiple CPUs like what is this multiple CPU with a one single using a single with clause like with uh, now I am going to use like with employee one with employee one I am going to give this DUPT name comma total and then I am going to give like I'm going to declaring the uh, definition for that employee like uh, for that CPU select DUPT name comma count of employee ID employee ID as total from employee details uh, employee details I am going to join this with department with department on on employee details 
ডট টি ই টি টি আই ডি ইকুৱেল টু ডিপাৰ্টমেণ্ট ডট টি ই টি টি ডি ই টি টি আই ডি ৱেৰ ডি ই টি টি নেম এম ৰিচি শৰ্মা আই ডি গ্ৰুপ বাই ডিপাৰ্টমেণ্ট নেম ওকে আই এম গোয়িং টু গ্ৰুপ দিছ ওৱান উইথ দ্য ডিপাৰ্টমেণ্ট নেম এণ্ড আই এম গোয়িং টু ইউজ ইট এণ্ড হিয়ৰ দিছ এণ্ডছ দ্য ফাৰ্ষ্ট টি টি ই এণ্ড দিছ হিয়ৰ আই এম গোয়িং টু গিভ এ সেমি কোলন এণ্ড দেন আই এম গোয়িং টু ডিক্লেয়াৰিং দিছ এমপ্লয়ী থ্রু এণ্ড দ্য টি টি ই এণ্ড দ্য সেম here i'm going to group it triply and bar okay and the next is whenever we use this multiple cts then you have to use a union or intersect or something like this to join both the select statement from employee one union select star from employee 2 okay now i'm going to exit this see this is how i have grouped this both the both the cts and got the uh, data that is going to that is there like uh, i am going i have achieved that it has with the two cts this is called multiple cts using single with clause so uh, this is what we have seen like a cte what is cte that cte is nothing but a common table expression that is a, is a temporary result set that is derived from a query and defined within that particular execution scope only and this uh, cte is, is like when we have uh, uh, declared this column then uh, column names then we have to use those columns only that is otherwise we have to use this column names that we have or we have got from this select statement okay the next thing is the immediate select statement only this the scope of this uh, cte will be there and then how we are multiple cte's are used we have seen it this is uh, uh, this is something about a cte thank you thank you for listening